be read the third time and do pass those in favor say and to a contrary nay. The eyes have it. The anti-homosexuality bill passed last evening by Parliament now awaits assent by the President to become law with the legislators confident that it will not be quashed by the courts of law on the technicality of quorum as was the case in 2014. So the quorum is catered for, we are supposed, our quorum is 176, that's 529 members, voting members of Parliament and we have 389 members of parliament in the house to thank colleagues members of parliament one for turning up in large numbers and denying the honorable fox or the opportunity to go back to court today you permitted me as a minority to have my say and the majority had their way that is how democracies work. I thank you. The amended and passed provisions of the bill provide in categorical terms the penalties for engagement in same-sex relationships. It is to place the death penalty for a person who commits aggravated homosexuality, which means if the act is committed on person below the age of 18, offender has HIV or by a guardian. A person who attempts to commit aggravated homosexuality is liable to a 14-year jail term. A person who commits homosexuality is liable to imprisonment for life in prison. A person who attempts to commit homosexuality is liable to imprisonment for 10 years. A child convicted for homosexuality is liable to imprisonment for a period not exceeding 3 years. Outlaws consent of a victim as defense. What is in the penal code is not sufficient. That is why there is a need for us to have this legislation. We are making this law for ourselves, we are making this law for our children, we are making this law for the children of our children. A person who traffics by recruitment, transport, harbors or receives a child for purposes of homosexuality is liable to life imprisonment. It provides for a 20-year jail term for a person who promotes through distribution of homosexuality material. The owner, manager or occupier of premises who knowingly allows the facility to be used for homosexuality is liable to imprisonment not exceeding 10 years. Prohibits a person who purports to contract same-sex marriage. A license of legal entity may be suspended for 10 years or pay 50,000 carrying points equivalent to 1 billion shillings for knowingly or with intention publishes, advertises or prints any material promoting homosexuality or commission of the offence. Disqualification from employment of a person who is convicted of homosexuality in a child care institution and must disclose to an employer proof of rehabilitation or else is liable to two years of imprisonment and the employment shall be terminated. A person who knows or who has reasonable suspicion that a person has committed or has the intent of committing homosexuality shall report to police. A person who does not report is liable to a fine of 5,000 currency points equivalent to 100 million or imprisonment for six months. This does not apply to an advocate. A person who makes false claims on another is liable to imprisonment for one year. The MPs have defended many of the bill's clauses which have been called redundant by saying they simply reinforce those in the Constitution and the Penal Code Act. To confirm that the government is fully behind this, I'm present. Our support is not in doubt. The first support was demonstrated when the Ministry of Finance issued the Certificate of Financial Implication within a record time. The norms and aspirations of people of Uganda will always remain supreme. Whatever we are doing, we are doing for the people of Uganda. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. <laughs>